Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we're looking at a very cool car, which features in the 2023 P-Case, and this is actually a brand new retool of the 92 Dodge Viper RT10. Super cool car in real life, and this casting is absolutely fantastic. This is one of the cars that really desperately needed a new retool, because the other one looked very tuned. Um, I will show a picture of the old one in just a little bit when we get into the showcase of the actual car. Uh, it really did need a retool, believe me. I don't actually have the pre-retool version because I was waiting for this retool. Because honestly, I do think that the previous version looked quite hideous. And it was not really that interesting for me. I will mention where I actually found this car though. So I found this car in a local Smith's Toy Superstore for £1.69. Very fair price there. Very low price, to be honest, for such noob stock. And yeah... It was alongside all of the 2023 PKS new castings. The only thing that was missing that I noticed was the Datsun 510 Bluebird wagon done in purple with the new wheels on it. it was a shame not to be able to find that. I do believe it may have been the Super Treasure Hunt in that case. Um, but yeah, it wasn't there. So yeah, that's why I believe it may have been the Super Treasure Hunt. I will mention that this car features in the Hot Wheels Exotics and is number 9 out of 10. And I will also mention that I do have a slightly new background in this video. Hopefully you like this a little bit more. It's got kind of the card art in the background. Just spicing this up a little bit. Anyways, I've talked enough about that stuff. Let's get into the facts about the real life car. So in real life, this car has a 10 cylinder, 488 cubic inch, which is 8 litres engine. And by the way, these engines sound absolutely fantastic. One of the nicest sounding engines in the history of cars, I believe. I absolutely love the sound of these. This car has 400 brake horsepower, which is 406 horsepower, and 626 newton meters of torque. Uh, that converts to 462 pound feet of torque. This car also has a 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. Pretty impressive there. It is also a rear wheel drive and has a top speed of 266 kilometers per hour, or 165 miles per hour. When this car was new, it cost $52,000 in 1992 of course and that is equivalent to 42,400 pounds now this car is valued at $48,000 and that is equal to 39,400 pounds so it hasn't really lost an awful lot of value but it also hasn't gained any value although I think that the values are definitely going up and that they are going up and I definitely think this will be a future classic car it's just fantastic anyways that's it for the facts about this car now let's move on to the actual showcase of the Hot Wheels Retour model. Alright, so kicking off this showcase, we'll first of all take a look at the side of this car, and I will first of all mention the wheel choice on this thing. So this car is rolling on the brand new for 2022 uh, three sport wheels, which are actually called the Advan three sport wheels, which are being painted in chrome. I actually do like these a lot on this car, and that is actually accurate to the real life car. The real life RT10 did have three spoke wheels. I really do like that feature that Hot Wheels have done on this new casting. Really pays homage to the actual car in person. It also does have the very similar red colour on this car to the real life Dodge Viper RT10 as well. Really nice to see that, especially uh, when it is a new casting. That is always fantastic to see. That red is not metallic, it's just glossy. There's no tamper work on the side of this car. However, there are a few details in the actual metal casting I do want to mention. First of all, we have the fender vent, which is accurately represented here. We also have the side exit exhausts, which are created through the black base plastic. This casting also does have wing mirrors, and as you can quite clearly see, this is the convertible version of this car, hence it does not have a metal roof or any roof at all. And before we move on to the next side of this car, I do quickly want to show you what this casting used to look like before the retool. Yeah, it's seen a lot of improvements, that's for sure. Anyways, that's really it for the side of this car. Now let's move on to the front of this thing. Alright, so taking a look at the front of this car, decent amount of detail here. So actually on the front bumper section of the car, we don't receive any tampo. That includes the grille of this car, as well as the fog lights, which are them circles in the metal casting. You could add your own details to the grille, as well as the fog lights, using something like Sharpie or acrylic paint. The entire front bumper, as well as the chin or split of this front bumper, is in the metal casting is not created through the base plastic and that is accurate to the real life Viper. They've done a great job on this and I will mention that there is not a whole lot of difference between the front on this one and the previous model before the retool. They're very similar looking from this aspect of the car. They only really changed on the side and it's a drastic change. I will have already shown you that picture. 
Um, and you can also see there is some tamper work on the actual hood of the car. That's how they've tampered it from the top. We do have the nice headlights, which have been painted in a silver color. So from certain angles, they don't look quite right. They look really dark and dull. But in this uh, nice bright lighting, which we do have in this video, it does look fantastic. So it does depend on what angle you're looking at them from as well. So really interesting design. It does look very realistic. I'm liking that new headlight design. I don't think I've ever seen this headlight design on any other cars. Really cool look. It also does include the indicator lights in those headlights as well. That is painted in orange tampo. And finally, we do have the Dodge or the Viper logo accurately portrayed there uh, just between the headlights. Really nicely done. Anyways, that is really it for the front of this car. Now let's move on to the next side of the car. And taking a look at this side of the car, there is no differences on this side of the car to the previous side. One thing I almost missed on the other side though, well I did miss on the other side, but I'm going to mention it here. You can see that there is a nice, what appears to be reflector light, although I'm not entirely sure what it's meant to be. It's not tampered or anything, it's just in the metal casting. I really do believe that this casting will come to premium in the very near future. Reason for it is there are a few details which are missing. And with them just retooling this car, I'm definitely sure they will try and get their money's worth out of it. So definitely expect this to come to premium. If you're not a full fan of this thing and you're thinking, oh, there's some details missing here, I'm pretty confident in saying this will come to premium. Although I don't know for certain because I don't work for the Hot Wheels team. Nor am I at all affiliated with them. And then let's take a look at the rear of this car. So there's tamper work here as well, very generously done. So we do have the brake lights, which have been done in red tampo. We also have the indicator lights done in orange tampo, as well as the reverse lights done in white tampo, or silver tampo, it's kind of in the middle. You could also see the license plate has been done in black, and that license plate does read Viper RT10. Obviously that Viper RT10 writing has been done in red to match the rest of the car. And that is really it for the rear of this car. There's no other tampo. There's a little bit of uh, detail in the metal casting, which hasn't been tampoed, and again, leads me to believe it'll come to premium. That is on the very lower section of the rear bumper. There is a small vent which has not received any tampo. They really should have done that in black, but again, this is a main line, so I'm not gonna complain too much. Anyways, that's it for the rear of this car. Now let's move on to the top of this thing. All right, and taking a look at the top of this car, there's not a whole lot uh, of detail here, but there are a few things. So first of all, I'm gonna scoop back over to the rear section of this car, and I'm gonna mention that the Dodge Viper uh, badge does feature on the trunk of this car. As I said, they have tampoed the top of the car. That is one of the two tampo print presses that they've done. You can also see the fuel filler cap does feature on the top of this car in the metal casting. Um, there is a nice bit of uh, arching done in the metal casting as well, which is obviously uh, a feature that you do see on the convertible version or the roadster version of this. You can see the interior is done in black plastic and is done very, very accurately, as well as that nice bit of black trim, which also wraps around the inside of the metal arch featured on the real life car. You can also see the hood vents are accurately done and are done very nicely using the actual window plastic, not the black interior plastic. I found that was a really interesting feature, but they do look a lot more realistic, uh, in my opinion, when they have been created through the window plastic. Really nice use of that. Finally, I will mention the few final things about the window of this car. So first of all, you can see there are unfortunately no windshield wipers on this casting. And yeah, that's really it for the top of this car. And that also does conclude the showcase of this car. So now let's move on to my final thoughts and review on this thing. All right, and now it's time for my final thoughts and review on this car. I really do like this thing. I think this is an absolutely spot on ray tool of this car. They've done absolutely phenomenally on this. The detail here is fantastic. The casting itself is done perfectly. There are a few bits of tampo work which obviously aren't featured on the mainline version. However, I really am looking forward to the premium model of this because I'm almost certain, as I've said, it's gonna come to premium just with the fact that they've just retooled it. And yeah, this just looks great. Love the color choice, obviously accurate to the real life car, as I've already said. The wheel choice is also accurate to the real life car. Love the inclusion of wing mirrors too. Only thing that I would complain a little bit about is the windshield wipers not being there. But that is not a big deal and this car is just beautiful looking. A lot of the time Hot Wheels kind of make the cars look a little bit uh, tuned, which is all right. I do like it when they do that to their cars, but this one is really quite realistic. It still does have the Hot Wheels kind of design aspects to it and kind of take on the car, 
but it does look very nice and realistic. Really happy with this model, in my opinion. I know a lot of people uh, who are fans of American muscle cars also will be. But anyways, that leads me on to my score out of 10. One of this car out of 10, it is going to be receiving a very, very solid 9.5 out of 10 from me. Really impressed with this Hot Wheels model. They've done great on this. Don't think there's much they could have improved on at all, and I think the metal casting itself is spot on. But anyways, that is it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And you can also press that notification bell so you do not miss any new uploads. Remember, you can also share this video with any friends, family, and any groups who may be interested. But remember, don't feel pressured if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me, and I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point. But anyways, that is it for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.